you can now already change parameters and send those to your Cork Volca drum. But to make those able that we can hear this in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the fourth track here, which will send out MIDI notes on one track via a drum rack to the Cork Volca drum. And you can receive all those um, sounds on one track in here. So um, for this, you need to do a few things on the fourth track here. So you got this uh, drum rack Volca preset here and you got all four channels here as well, which are being sent. Um, the MIDI notes are being sent to those different channels here, which will be uh, the same as the drum parts on your Kolk Volca drum, number one to six. So what you need to do is you need to select here the right uh, input as well. So in my case, again, Scarlet 8 i6, channel one. Then the next one, channel two, obviously, and so on and so forth. After you've set all the channels right and the MIDI ports, you need one mm, track here or one chain to receive the audio input. So in my case, I have my Cork Volca drum connected via the audio out going into my Scarlet here as well into audio inputs. So I need to select the right channels here to send or receive the audio back from my Cork Volca drum. I'm now able to play the different parts on my Cork Volca drum by um, triggering those MIDI notes here. I can set up clips now, I can set up a push or a different MIDI controller like a Push 2 for example to play those notes here and receive all the audio from the Cork Volca drum back on this channel. 